Hey guys, how's it going on? And today we're back for episode number two of the Ranger Save. I'm so sorry it's taken so long. It's been out of my control. I have effectively been shafted by Sky Broadband. We've got it back though. So what I've done just as I want to progress the series as much as possible, I have actually gone ahead and put the entirety of season of part one of season one into one big chunky episode, which has the old firm, two Champions League games and a bit bits and bobs of what we do in January. Uh, and then hopefully this week I'll be able to as well get out episode 2 of season, well episode 3 of season uh, 1, which will be the end of the season, where you basically see how we did. Uh, season number 2, uh, regarding season 2, on twitch.tv on Thursday, so long as my internet is running, I will actually be uh, recording that. So if you want to get over to that, please go over to twitch.tv slash boys underscore x. Uh, um, or link in the description for that uh, and you will actually be able to like I say weigh in on what we should do we're recording Champions League so it will be very very interesting for yourselves to watch so I completely recommend it uh, so yeah let's get on with the video so how's it going on and we're back for the all firm derby it's going to be a big one Celtic need to win this ideally to catch back up with us uh, with ourselves and hearts um, strangely, they uh, they lost to Hearts and they've recently got themselves a draw. Unsure who that was against, but we are here. Uh, and then following that, we do have the uh, first Champions League game. So it's going to be really annoying this game because uh, effectively, uh, yeah, we, we we pretty much have to we have to deal with the fact of uh, playing two big games with about three days of each other. Here we have the. Uh, I was going to say, <laughs> the scum, but we'll maybe not say that regularly, I don't want to. Adams then, to start us off. Like I say, Celtic haven't, Matondo needs to get himself back on the side, the idiot. Rabi then, to run at Taylor. Jay Adams. Beautiful football already. Hadji's through, and it's 1-0 after three minutes. We pretty much... First attack, first goal. It was genuinely there. Every bit of what I want to see in us in this uh, series. Just not... Just being absolutely relentless against Celtic. Just not getting them a minute. Just every time we get the ball, running at them. We have the attackers to punish... Punish... Uh, to punish? To punish them. Uh, oh, that's such a good goal at a great time as well. 1-0 to, to the Jers. that has come in Rabi's away got a man at back post but it goes it goes to Hadji and it's 2-0 20 minutes in we catch Celtic on the counter oh that's just I wanted him to go to the away foul <laughs> don't quite think Hadji's doing that in real life that's just oh <laughs> I think the animation is all for shush him Celtic trying to go through but Brick wall, Goldson not having any of it. Cooper, expert with his feet. I'm thinking we're at a point, right? Let's make some substitutions. We've got Napoli midweek. Let's make sure a couple of the lads are fit for that. I think Hickman, I'm definitely thinking. Make sure Hadji is, uh, is fit. And I'm also going to bring Lawrence on for now. So, free substitution. Free subs at half time. All of which, I still feel, will be there to make a difference. The run boys pass straight into the brick wall again of, of Goldson. Lawrence on the ball now after a brilliant touchdown by Tillman. Absolute brilliant stuff by Tillman. And it's Tom Lawrence who makes it 3-0 to the Jers. The boys have been absolutely rattled from minute one. Joe Hart couldn't catch a cold at the minute. Celtic nil, Rangers free. They just aren't, aren't at the races. They brought Jota on for Forrest. My question is, why wasn't he starting? Like he, man, not starting. Kamara swings one. And that is an absolutely beautiful goal from the Finnish international. And that Finnish international has absolutely finished any chance that Celtic had. Uh, winning the first all firm of the season. 
Glenn Kamara in absolute acres of space. Swings one beautifully. Joe Hart has done, might as well not have been there today. 75 minutes in, it's the Mighty Jers 4, Celtic 0. Insane. Just absolutely thunder it at Tillman. Che. Absolutely. This counter is coming from Jotters pointlessly thundering it at. Thundering it at Coulson. 4 0 then. Celtic firmly battered. Rangers on top and remain top of the league. That's a great start for us. So then, let's continue our journey with our start of our journey into Europe. All I am saying is, if we can have a game today where we actually give it to them, I'm happy. G. Into Kent. Wait for the cavalry to arrive. Their keeper has jumped in, but no one's there in the box. Again, we will look to go again. Oh. Goldson gets lucky there. Cooper fires it into Tav, but the pressure's coming on from Napoli now. Cooper, absolute heart attack of the moment there. Nearly gives the ball away into Radvan. Leaves it Kent for on goal. Can't quite get away the normal way. We'll try and fire it in. Oh, the Savage is there. El Nazuri brings it down. That's half time. It's been a bit of a different game. We've been more on top, but you can sort of see how... Um, these teams are a lot harder to get past. You know, they're blocking a lot of the balls that we have. They're just digging in deep. Napoli are away. They'll try and stand him up. Davis does enough. Goldson does enough. Labotka and Cooper tips it over. <laughs> Napoli's knocking on the door now. Brilliant save by Cooper. Politano now. Swings it out to the back. I don't know what's happened there. Cooper manages to hold on to Fekir's shot. This does well to mop up the Goldson's loose touch. Hadji now. Hadji manages to put Che Adams away. He's been shirt pulled. It's last man. That's got to be a red card. A potential... Change in the game. Che Adams being pulled back. It's I don't know if it's been given as a penalty or as a free kick, but it's a, given as a penalty. It's an absolute monstrous um, chance for us. And the European saying of pe penalty to Rangers ringing round. It's Tavernier versus the keeper. He slots it away. Tavernier puts Rangers one 0 up in Naples. A stupid defending. Che Adams didn't really have the chance. But Tav has just stood up against all odds and put it... No, it's not quite top corner, but top corner enough that it just didn't need to be saved. We're sort of struggling now. Napoli are coming on to us quite a lot more. El Nazuri is away. Cooper just about does enough. I'm not too sure on what happened there with Goldson. Like I, he, I just completely lost control of him. It's all a bit pinball -y at the minute. Politano into the hands of Cooper. Friends, Hadji. His unfortunately, he unfortunately can't find space to pass it into uh, into Matondo or go for goal himself. Fakir now comes forward. It's now or never for, for Napoli. And there it is, full time. A narrow victory in Naples. It, it, was a it was a penalty that got us over the line. But that's the type of stuff that we absolutely love. But Michael Cooper makes... I mean, it only shows two of his saves. But he made at least, in my opinion there, four good saves that gave us the points. Dominated on possession. But Napoli were counter-attacking on us all the time. Three points then in the Champions League, a narrow victory.
I do enjoy like the stuff that they've added. Like it does feel like really like nice and it feels like very nice. Has to be said, like all like the cutscene stuff looks really crisp. Especially Bergvine holds off Tav. Comes through, Brian Brobby. Force that wide well. Vindel fires it at the toes of Oxley Chamberlain. Real life that one. Putting Chamberlain out for six months. Hadji out to right. Tavernier gallops away. Swings towards the box. Run out of space, more or less. Chamberlain recycled. Honestly, it's been so good in midfield. Yilmaz. Into Kent. Why not go for it? Jeez. Did the uh, little Drake number. Um, probably they're doing a Shakira one. So that will mean that PK needs to do. Needs to wear a shirt. Or oh, what a block. <laughs> Dedicated to his ex wife. Big L for him, Mark. But I feel like it's change time. I feel Tillman. I feel Hadji out wide right, and then Tillman through the middle. Rangers bench is so shit. Off. Tav into Hadji. Tillman plays the ball through, and Chatham's one nil to Rangers in Amsterdam. It came late, but Che Adams makes all the difference. Steven Gerrard's running over. It, I don't know if it's enough. We might have done it. Liverpool might have slipped up against Napoli. But it came late. It kept Tillman the difference. It's a beautiful through ball. Che Adams absolutely rifles one past the keep, the Ajax keeper. Story of our Champions League. Winning Stuffy is the Rangers' way this year. We got that pen in, Nap in Naples. We got that little nice through ball where Ajax finally overcommitted in Amsterdam. We got nothing in Liverpool. We got, we got battered in Liverpool. We didn't get anything there. But there we go. Through in the Champions League, we have bettered Geo. Geo couldn't even get a... Well, I mean, he might still get a point. I hope he does, for Rangers' sake. Been a bit shit so far, but a narrow 1-0 win in which Che Adams... Nice, cultured pass. But we are through. I am proud of you, Ryan Kent. I'm very angry at how... If we are. But 44 points, Celtic are... The ones who are right behind us. And the old firm is next. In the next episode. We're transfer window as well. It is indeed. They ignore the losses. The losses don't mean anything. But the next the next episode will be Celtic and Hibernian. And in between that. Any transfer stuff we will get up to. Uh, but yeah. Until next time. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace. Free transfer. Uh, I wasn't really too sure of what to do with this because like we were just struggling so much with depth and this guy came up and I thought, oh, it's really going to be a decent signing for us. Um, obviously, the fact of in this cup game, we don't actually have a lot of subs. Um, Sands was recalled from... Um, uh, was recalled. So it does mean we're actually quite light in in the basic terms. So I think we need a right back back up and I think there's only going back to squad hub. There's only one person who I think it's right to bring in and that is Nathan Patterson. Let's bring him back from Everton. I think it just makes a lot of sense. Let's just try 3 million. I think that's a fair that's a fair little uh Deal that I think it makes massive sense to us. It's a it's a player. He's happy with rotation, which is good because Gardner Hickman is also on uh, rotation. So it means that we can probably rotate between Patterson and Hickman very well. Uh, we're going ten k. So it's a little bit of a pay rise. 
it's a little bit more. Just because you're a Rangers, came through the Rangers Academy, will absolutely bring you back in. I think that's an important signing for us to make. Um, it, it is nice to, like I say, bring players back who broke through. Uh, so the player who I'm thinking about bringing in for us is Lloyd Kelly from uh, from Bournemouth. I think he looks a very nice option, to be honest with you. Look, someone who can come in, be a little bit more of a uh, fast option, shall we call it? Um, a bit more of a fast option, as I say. Um, I'm hoping he takes rotation. If he takes important, that's fine. Um, yeah, if he takes important, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> because obviously, Goldson is getting on a bit. Um, Goldson is getting on a bit, so I think that the idea of having Kelly in a bit of a younger centre back. I do realise I'm buying a lot of English players, by the way. I do, I, I do try and intend to bring, um, get the Scottish uh, contingent up. Um, but yeah, wait, we get uh, it's seventy four rated, which I think is ideal. Um, I don't know why he's saying about right back because he's a. Yeah, I am looking at. Uh, and then the next person who we are going to try and sign is Woot Veghorst. Right, guys. Thank you so much for uh, watching the video. If you've got this far, you are an absolute fucking champ. Um, please try, uh, like I say, like the video. It helps a lot in terms of YouTube actually pushing this video out. Um, I fucking love Rangers. Uh, you know, I'm a Bolton fan, but I fucking love Rangers. So they mean the world to me if I can start getting a bit more Jersey fans in, in, the, uh, in the YouTube um comments just helping me along the way uh but yeah make sure you come along on thursday night because it's gonna be a blast we're gonna be playing a lot we've got the old fir the first old firm and we've got champions league group and i will just say fuck me it is a group so if you guys want a tasty champions league group get your fucking asses over to twitch you know you fucking want to um but yeah until next time guys